I truly don't really let my mind go to that place where I think, what if I couldn't have seen somebody for nine months? I really, I really can't imagine who I'd be today. I would be a totally different person. I know that. Um, I, I, yeah, I guess I wish for other people that are experiencing sort of the changes they see happening in their bodies that they, that they don't doubt what they're feeling. They don't doubt the fact that they are having pain, that this is not normal for them. And to be, um, yeah, to have the courage to speak up for themselves and to be persistent. Um, I, it's, it's so important. I think even in that short period of time, I know that I already had some erosions that I have still, and I still have limitations based on what happened in that very, very, very short period of time. And I can't imagine nine months later, how many more erosions, how many more joints would have been permanently affected by that. And even emotionally and like the, the state I would have been in, I, I, I truly, I truly don't know what, I don't know who I'd be today. I really don't because so much of what I do is physical. So much of what everybody does is physical. Self-care, their jobs, or their caring for their family. It's so much a part of what being human is all about. I think that I really, truly am doing very well. Like I have a good level of health. I have a good level, healthy level of activity and emotional support and emotional well-being. I think that I am really doing quite well. One thing I've learned, and I remember my rheumatologist going into a bit of a story about um, his brother um, wanting so badly to be on a rowing team, and he couldn't because of a, a, a knee problem that he was having. And uh, one of his uh, good friends said, well, is it rowing that you want to do, or is it the fact that you want to be on a team? Like, what about rowing? What is it that brings you that joy, that fulfillment. And I've had to ask myself that a lot. So I'd say, oh, I really want to go play volleyball with my friends. And depending on how I'm doing, you know, is it the fact that I want to actually play volleyball or is it because I want to be a part of a group that's doing something together, it's active, it's outside, it's at the beach or whatever. And you can substitute other activities that sort of meet all of those requirements and give me the, like, that would give me the same degree of fulfillment. And so I've learned to do that, sort of weigh the balance. Um, so, I guess that's a skill that I've learned, but I've also, sometimes I don't know the activity, so I'll try it. And then I have to be really honest about whether or not that was a good idea or not. So I've learned to be honest with myself. I guess the older I get, you know, the, the better, I hope, better decisions that I'm making about my activity level, so. Never want to say that I'm glad that I have arthritis. I never in a million years would want anybody to have it, but I've been able to have some pretty incredible experiences because of it. And one of the things that's been very meaningful to me is being a patient ambassador, being able to have really great, open, honest conversations with people who are newly diagnosed. Um, it's not necessarily rheumatoid arthritis. It might be another type of arthritis, but their lives are affected dramatically by their disease. And being able to um, just t give them hopeful, um, hopeful bits about my life, things that that uh, I've been able to experience because and only because of the fact that I've gone through this um, this journey with my RA, and I just just to empower them to be courageous and to to really um, fully engage in what's happening with them and to you know bring people around them as support and all of those lovely things. So I've had that experience, and I've also um, been privileged to be a part of several research studies. I think that it's immensely important to be able to share my cold hard data with with the groups that can take it and use it to build really good treatment plans i i just think that that's so important because i know that moving forward in my life i'm only going to get older my disease is going to be there it's not something that's going to go away and I like to think that there's great minds out there that can pull all this data together and come up with, you know, really good, robust treatment plans for me. So I'm, I'm happy to participate and to share my 
results, data, story, whatever it happens to be is fine.